Hello, and welcome to my Valentine's Day Wine of the Day, which is from Durbanville Hills. It's part of the Collector's Reserve, and it's called the Lighthouse Merlot 2019. Lovely artwork on the label by liner cut specialist um, Theo Forster. Um, each of these wines are of the Collector's Reserve are named after a place or a, um, a sort of a weather condition. Um, and here you can see the, the lighthouse in, in Muli Point on the, on the label. So let's have a look. Beautiful colour. Just such a wonderful colour. Um, quite, there's a bit of translucency there, but it's quite opaque. Lovely sort of blood plum and then this, this ruby um, halo around the edges. And exactly what one expects from Merlot. There's nice berry fruits there, um, strawberries, blackberries, mulberries. Um, there's some spice there as well. Um, sort of nutmeggy, cinnamony, um, fennelly kind of spices that you use in in baking and then just this lovely plum um, fruit mm. lovely palette sort of medium weight um, again that wonderfully pronounced um, fruit there's some dark chocolate there too and running through is this perfect, perfect line of acidity and slightly um, grippy tannin, which of course makes it a great food wine. But it really is a wine that you could drink on its own, um, maybe waiting for your, your bry fire to calm down sufficiently. From a food point of view, um, I'm going to recommend one of Diane Bibby's recipes. Um, it's called a a spicy Mexican plat with manchego cheese. Manchego is the most delicious um, hard cheese. Go very well with this wine. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.